Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining in to today's video and welcome if you are new around here and a huge thank you if you are a returning viewer. So today is an exciting one, it's the first instalment of my Ways to Wear series where each week I'm going to be sharing different ways and giving you different ideas of how to wear a certain item. You'll be familiar with these videos if you are a returning viewer because I did lots of these last year and I really do have a passion for sharing like different ways to wear things and really getting the most out of your wardrobe. We're going to be mainly focusing on those staple items that you probably already do have in your wardrobe. I don't want to encourage you to buy lots of new things. I want to encourage and help you guys to find different ways to wear things you've already got. So today I'm going to be sharing five different ways of wearing your leather trousers, your faux leather trousers, leather leggings, like whatever kind of version of it you have. I have a pair of straight leg faux leather trousers that I've had for a really long time and these are like my favourite trousers. I already get so much wear out of them, so I thought that this would be a really good one to start off with. So I've tried to cover different bases with the five different looks. So we've got a simple or minimal look, we've got a work look, a dressy look, like a smart casual look, and then like a more super casual look. All of the outfit links will be linked in the description box below. Some of these items I've had in my wardrobe for a long time, so they won't be available now, but I'll try to find as many alternatives as I can. But I'm sure that you guys have got something similar, a similar alternative that you can wear so you don't have to buy something new. You. So let's get into the outfits. So for the first look, I've built a very simple and minimal outfit with just some really, again, key basics you've probably got in your wardrobe. We've got a beige knit layered over with a black coat. And then I really wanted to add a little bit of something else. So when I want to do that, I add a striped knit on the shoulders. I feel like the cream of this jumper ties in with the cream under the coat. The black ties in with the coat and the trousers. I feel like it just pulls everything together and adds a real like layer of elegance and chicness, elevates that very simple look. And then for footwear, I've gone for a plain black ankle boot. These are from River Island. I've had these for a while. And I think finishing off the outfit with just a black bag and black boots keeps it very simple, but it looks very put together and quite smart actually. And this look is so versatile. You could wear this for lunch, shopping, whatever you are doing. So that is look one. I think we've started off with a very strong look. I've actually got all the looks on my phone, so I'm just gonna grab look number two. Okay, so for look number two, I wanted to show an idea of how we can dress up the leather trousers. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I don't really go out that much. Um, I'm a bit of a grandma and I'm a bit of a homebody, but don't get me wrong, I do like to go out every now and then. So if I was to go out, I would 100% wear my faux leather trousers. And then I would add like a little heel. I've got these lovely mules. I got these from ASOS last year. I featured these in a lot of my um, Christmas party wear looks. You might be a high heeled girl. You might be a little heel girl. Whatever you want. I just think for dressing the trousers up, adding a heel is essential. And then I've actually kept the look quite simple. I've put a ribbed thick t-shirt on underneath. I really love this. And then I've gone over the top with a smart black blazer. This one is from ASOS. And then I've layered on jewelry. I've added two necklaces and I already had on quite a lot of jewelry anyway. But I think layering the jewelry and really adding on the jewelry can instantly really elevate and dress up an outfit. I've also added a black clutch just to give it a little bit more of an evening going out look. I really, really like this outfit. I'm definitely going to remember this look for next time I'm going out with my friends for perhaps like an evening meal or some cocktails or something. Okay, so moving on to a smart casual outfit. This look that I've put together I think would work well for lots of different occasions and I think that this could be a really easy go-to outfit. As you will have seen in a lot of the looks, I wear a lot of the similar colours and that has just now taken a few years to build up in my wardrobe but it means that lots and lots of my items match together and I can mix and match pieces and the colours work really well together. I've gone with a black roll neck on top and I absolutely love roll necks for just a very simple easy layer. So I've gone with the roll neck layered over the top 
a black and white gingham blazer. So this is a really nice way to break up an outfit, add in like a subtle print or a bit of another color. So although the blazer has black in, it's really broken up by the white gingham print. And I think adding a blazer to any outfit just gives it a little air of smartness. And I think a blazer just always makes you feel quite put together. And then for the bottom half of the look, I've paired it with some Converse. And I absolutely love Converse right now. They just work so well into outfits and having the white on the converse really breaks up the black outfit. I've worn the bag crossbody as well here and I think by wearing a bag crossbody just gives a little bit more of a casual look. Really, really love that. And then I've just finished off the outfit with a plain black scarf. I recently actually picked this up from Primark. Such a good find. I think it's like five pounds. It's so, so soft. And here I'm just showing a little trick because if you want to wear your scarf like that, but you find that this, I happens to me all the time, just like falls off. It's so annoying. So you can just loop that bit under and then that can still sit over and it actually looks really neat, I think, like that. Um, so there's just a little tip for you. So this is an outfit I would definitely wear shopping, meeting friends for lunch. If you're having a bit of a mooch around, this is so nice. I haven't put a coat on this outfit, but you could easily just layer over a coat on top as well. And I think if you're in and out of like a shopping center or shops and things this time of year, it's really nice to wear layers. So if you do get hot, you can take a layer off. And if you get cold, put a layer back on. So now we're going to move on to a workwear look. I don't work in an office, but if I did, this is exactly what I would wear. So with the faux leather trousers, I've added in a white shirt and it's more, I would say actually like a blouse than a shirt. Um, I got this from Cos last summer and it's so, so beautiful. It's a really nice neckline so you can pop some necklaces on there as well. And then because obviously we're going to work, we're in the office, we want to keep it nice and smart, I've then layered on a blazer over the top and I really love um, this look. So adding the shirt and blazer gives it a very modern office wear look. And then for shoes, I've just added in some black loafers. You could also wear black boots or if you wear heels to work, Wear those any black shoes I think this would work with. This was just a personal choice. I just put some chunky loafers with it. I've also used this bag throughout, and this is the Pauline Paris bag. And quite often when I do Q&As on my Instagram, people always say, what's a good quality leather bag that's not like a super ridiculous designer price? And Pauline Paris is the answer. They do vary from, I think they're like 250 to 500 pounds. The quality is amazing. They have beautiful designs, beautiful colors, and really, really gorgeous. So I put this with a couple of my outfits today, and I think this is like a very nice, smart bag you could wear to work. And then the final look I have put together is much more of a casual weekend vibe. So I've added in a nice hoodie. This is my Anine Bing hoodie. You can wear any kind of sweatshirt hoodie underneath. I've gone for the same black coat that I had on one of the other looks as well. I really like a smart coat with a hoodie. And then for footwear, I've gone for some super chunky sneakers. These are the Axel Arrogato Runner Marathon. I think that's what they're called. And I really, really love these trainers with the hoodie and the faux leather trousers. I love working all of the different textures together. And then because it's the weekend, because you're probably like running errands out and about and need lots of bits with you, I've then popped a tote bag on it because who doesn't live with a tote bag, basically? So those are our five looks with the leather trousers. And I really hope that you found this useful and it might have given you some ideas on how to wear your faux leather trousers. As I said, I'm going to be doing these weekly. So do let me know what you'd like to see styled up in different ways. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you soon. Bye.